Unfortunately for the good folks who live in New York's third congressional district, uh, it doesn't look like they're going to be getting any break from the wackadoos and weirdos that want to represent their district after George Santos was expelled last week. Now, again, the people in the third district had previously voted for Democrats, but then there was a little bit of redistricting, right? A little bit of finagling with that third district and more Republicans came into it. And that of course is how George Santos was able to win it. It is still kind of a swing district. So, you know, it's pretty much an even chance one way or the other, whether it'll be a Democrat or a Republican, but it's really going to depend on what Republican the party chooses to uh, put up there as their nominee in the special election. And let's all hope for the sake of the country, it's not this guy, guy by the name of Philip Grillo, who has decided that he is of course throwing his hat into the ring. He wants to be a member of Congress and he is very fresh off being convicted just last week for his participation in the Capitol riot. That's right. A convicted Capitol rioter is running for George Santos's vacated seat in Congress. Just when you thought things couldn't get worse for the poor people in New York's third congressional district. Now they look at the possibility, however small that their next representative could somehow be even worse than George Santos. You know, it's like I've said, I, I remember saying this a lot last year, like when uh, uh, Herschel Walker was running for office, I said, you know, as bad as Herschel Walker is, as bad as all these Herschel Walker stories are, like two years from now, we're gonna have people that make Herschel Walker look tame. Like we'll look back and be like, wow, Herschel Walker, I guess, wasn't as crazy, especially compared to, you know, whoever this person is running for Congress, you know, in 2024. And uh, yeah, that, well, I mean, to be honest, George Santos immediately then came along and made Herschel Walker look tame by comparison, but uh, things are already looking a little weird for 2024. Let me tell you about this guy, a guy by the name of Philip Grillo, who was convicted, as I said last week, for his participation in the Capitol riot. Uh, he's uh, convicted on felony charge of obstruction of an official proceeding, along with a series of misdemeanors, including entering restricted grounds and disorderly conduct in a Capitol building. Now, he was caught on video during the Capitol riot. He had gone in and out through a broken window, according to these reports, several times. Uh, and pardon the language, I'm going to try to censor it as best I can, but he's on video at the riot saying, I'm here to stop the steal. It's our effing house. We effing did it. You understand? We stormed the Capitol. We shut it down. We did it. We shut the mother and you know, so on and so forth. So he's on video bragging about it. Like we did it. We shut it down. And then he goes to court and his lawyers tell the court like, oh, this guy, Mr. Grillo here, he didn't know that the Capitol building is where Congress meets. Like he just, he, he just thought it was like a building in DC where everybody wanted to protest. And so he, he didn't mean to obstruct Congress cause he didn't know they were there. Then why did you think you were there, bud? Like, what did you think was happening? Now I get it. I feel for the lawyers who are really trying to, you know, defend the indefensible here, but now this man wants to work in Congress. I mean, can he even find his way back to the bill? Does he know where they work now? <laughs> Does he know how all that operates? Um, and by the way, when he went in the first time and saw that it was literally Congress, he could have immediately walked out, but he went out and came back and then went out and came back two more times after finally, you know, knowing that, oh, this is where Congress is. So that defense obviously did not go anywhere. Uh, it'll also remain to be seen whether or not Mr. Grillo is going to be hit with a significant prison sentence that may prohibit him from even being able to run for Congress. So, you know, there's that, but by God, he's going to give it a try. And this special election for New York's third congressional district promises already to be rather weird to put it mildly.